back, and we are back with Congressman David Nunes, ranking Republican on the House Intel Committee. Congressman, let's go through some of these text messages from Peter Strzok uh, and uh, what you take away from them. And the first one I want to take a look at is uh, one about Crossfire Hurricane, three days before it was apparently opened, based on Papadopoulos information. He tells Lisa Page, his girlfriend, he wants to discuss opening a counterintelligence investigations relating to Trump's Russian connections. What's the significance? Well, look, I think overall here, these are kind of the text messages that we've all been waiting for, that we knew probably existed, that give the hard evidence that our investigation really needed several years ago. So I've made the statement on your show and many others publicly over the last few years that we know the FBI was lying to Congress uh, because we knew that they did not open this investigation because of Papadopoulos and then they opened it on July 31st. That was always nonsense. There was plenty of evidence of that. And here we have a text message that was clearly relevant to our investigation that they hid from us. And, and look, I would also say it's now clear that Papadopoulos was so mistreated, it's just unbelievable. They're actually, I mean, this, the FBI and DOJ in this country ought to be ashamed of themselves mocking a target that they knew was a phony target. They're making fun of, of Papadopoulos. This is really, really bad, and somebody needs to, needs to pay a price for it.